Welcome, friends, to the Detroit Equestrian Club. This is the Thanksgiving Classic Horse Show. I'm Jim Evers. Alongside me is Christopher Ewan. Christopher, we've got a great competition coming up, don't we? Absolutely, absolutely. All of these kids have competed in this class throughout the season, and this is the championship event. Uh, there's eight riders that are here. They're going to be competing to win the uh, showrider.com Equitation Cup, and uh, the winning trainer, the trainer who wins the most points, uh, actually wins a uh, five-day trip to the Caribbean. So uh, I'm hoping to be able to tag along and <laughs> get out of the cold <laughs> weather but uh, it's a great class and it's a very unique class um, the kids pick their own course and uh, they have to jump anywhere from 8 to 12 jumps the design could be of their own pattern and uh, the, the top four come back in reverse order and they do a two-minute flat phase again of their own choice so they can walk trot canter they can do whatever they want and it kind of allows them to be very creative in uh, in their riding and uh, in their and to really showcase their outstanding skills all right so that's the story from down here just outside the ring We'll send it up to the booth and get ready to bring you this great equestrian event. Down here by the 2007 showrider.com high point champion Kendall Meyer. Kendall, welcome back to the competition. What's it like coming back a year after uh, winning? Oh, it's really neat. I mean, I loved competing in the class and I had a ton of fun last year, and I wish everyone else competing this year the best of luck. Now, did you uh, ride against any of these other riders we're going to see today? Um, I don't really know everyone who's riding, but I think a couple of them I might have shown against last year. Now, how long have you been doing this? I've been riding for 10 years now. And what was it that uh, got you started in the show riding? Well, it was actually my grandpa. He wanted to go to a dude ranch, and my mom figured that I should have some riding lessons before we started that, so it just kind of stuck. Now, what are some of the uh, some of the, the uh, fun things that you get to do with the horse and in the uh, show jumping itself? Oh, I love everything about riding, but it's really neat to have a class like this because you get to make up your own course, which is neat because it shows uniquity in everybody. You don't have to look the same. Now, with your uh, not competing this year, are you still planning to uh, continue competing, maybe college and, and uh, so forth? Yes, horses will always be in my life. Okay, that's Kendall Meyer. She's the 2007 showrider.com high point champion. Let's send it back to the booth. Hello, friends, and welcome inside the Detroit Equestrian Club. We're down at the Michigan State Fairgrounds. This is the Thanksgiving Classic Horse Show. We've got eight riders getting ready to Head out onto the track there. They're into the into the ring, actually, uh, for the 2008 Showrider.com Equitation Cup. I'm Jim Evers. Christopher Ewing alongside me. Christopher, Absolutely. we got a great, pretty good crowd. We got some uh, beautiful horses we're going to see. Absolutely. I mean, you're watching some of the top young riders in the uh, in the state here. Really. Uh, doing something outstanding where they actually have the opportunity to create their own course. Uh, this is uh, entry number 277. It's yeah, uh, Shana Cohen. Yeah, Shana Cohen. She's riding Fidelio de Helby. Hopefully I said that correctly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you said in the open they have to make a minimum of eight jumps, a maximum of 12. There, right. There's no timing involved though, is there? No, not in the first round. There is not a, a time involved. It's really kind of judged on their skill and, and uh, creativity in the course, uh, similar to like a freestyle in uh, ice skating and mm -hmm. things like that. It's a gorgeous horse. And all of those gates are all set at the same height. Are those five foot or three foot six? Uh, they're anywhere from uh, three foot to three foot three. And, and that was a very, very neat turn uh, that she did across the middle when she did the skinny jump to the yellow. Uh, it's a bending line and it's very tricky. She's a very good rider. Mm, nice now double the jump there. Yeah, absolutely, and that's very tricky. As you can tell, there's not a stride yeah, in between there. Yeah, it's right there. here. It's right on top of me. It's right here on top of me. There's the wall. There's the jump. Now mm. she'll salute the judge. They have to salute before and after. Very, very good round. Very good round. So that was Shana Cohen. She's entrant number 277. She's the first one. Let's take a look at some of the jumping action we saw just a moment ago. 
Yeah. Very nice. And we're getting ready for Rachel Kuhn, number 258. She's the leader coming in. She's had a pretty good summer, hasn't she, Christopher? Absolutely. I'm joined down here by the 2008 High Point leader, Rachel Kuhn. Rachel, you're getting ready for competition. Thanks for spending some time with us. Are you excited about the competition? Oh, I'm very excited. Um, I did this last year and for my first time, so this year will be my second time, and I'm really excited to get out there and hopefully do really well. Now, what are some of the things you hope to uh, build on from last year, having the experience of doing it once already? Well, I know a lot more of the rules now, so hopefully I'll be able to just polish it up and do the best I can. Now, what's the name of your horse? Um, his name is George, but he'll be showing under the king and I. And how long have you had him? Um, I have had him now for about two years. All right, and so you're excited. Uh, how have you done against the competition this, uh, so far this summer? Oh, very well. We're coming in at the top, which is really exciting for us because we had our challenges this summer, so we've pulled through and done fairly well. All right, thanks for spending some time with us. That's Rachel Kuhn. She's the high point leader coming into the competition. Let's send it back to the booth. And she's riding the king and I. She'll come out to the very center of the course. She's going to ride over to our camera over there and salute. Luckily, very the camera nice. right there by the judge. So. A little bit of pressure on this young lady. She's been leading the, uh, the point standings throughout the entire season. Yeah, she looked relaxed. I got to interview her before the competition. Yeah. Her barn mate was the champion last year. She uh, may have met her already. Yep. yep. Kendall Meyer, the two so 2007 champion. That's right. And her trainer, Kathy Johnson, yep. is just an outstanding trainer in person. Really neat lady and does a great job with her riders. Very nice here. Now they'll get charged with faults if they knock down a gate, correct? Or if they fail to salute? Yes, they, they will uh, lose points if they fail to salute. Knockdowns are oftentimes in, the, in, in this particular uh, phase of competition in the equitation division is usually uh, up to the judge's discretion. Okay. Uh, you know, if the horse maybe can't jump that high or if it looks like it was the horse's fault, sometimes the judge will be uh, not as tough on the rider as if the rider just kind of misjudged. And now in this equitation competition, it, it's really more so the rider and, yes. and how they ride the horse. It, it's not really Correct. the horse. Correct. Very, very nice ride. Really nice ride. You know, it's, it's judged on the rider's poise, their ability to navigate the horse around the course without uh, getting too close to the jump, without leaving too I far from the ground, uh, the really so synchronizing the horse to the obstacle and, and uh, how well they're able to do that on top of how they position themselves on the horse. Their heels right. down, hands together, things like that. Right. Outstanding ride for her. And this is the fourth year of this um, showrider.com yes, equitation this is, cup? Yep, this is the fourth season. The, uh, the winner gets to uh, receive the showrider.com equitation cup trophy. And uh, what's really cool is the winning trainer gets to receive a five-day cruise to the Caribbean. And she gets to take her favorite uh, broadcaster with yeah, her, absolutely. right? Well, that, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah, we're going to have to fight over that one. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right. At the gate, Jessica Howard, number 274. She's riding Esquire. That's right. Jessica's 14 years old. She's from Bedford, Michigan. Oh, that was the other thing. Uh, the, these are all, uh, all these riders are under 18 years old, correct? That's correct. That's correct. Some are from Michigan. Some are from Ohio. Uh, but they are all junior riders. And, uh, and really, as I said earlier, really the top of their game, uh, these young riders here. I mean, you are literally watching some of the top young riders, in, in certainly in the state. This is a gorgeous uh, Hanoverian here. 
horse that was also imported uh, from uh, Germany. He's 14 years old. A little bit on Jessica. Her favorite food is mashed potatoes, she said. <laughs> her favorite color, is, favorite color is blue. And uh, her advice to other young riders is to keep your head held high. Never give up. Very nice through the bounce there. We'll roll back turn here. Two stride in and out. It's like she's winding it down for the salute to the judge. Right. Now, do most of the riders, you said that this horse is 14 years old, are most of the horses older like that? Well, you know, uh, that's you, you might tend to think that that's a, an old horse, but it really isn't. I mean, you, when you look at uh, some of the horses in the Olympics, it's not unheard of to see some of those horses uh, in their very late teens to even early 20s. There's Super over the roll top there. Very pretty and horse. This is a very pretty one about to come in as well. Yeah, this is number 260, Macy Lodisky. Right. She's riding on top of Mongo. Mongo. Mongo is an eight-year-old Belgium warm blood. And uh, Macy is 15 years old from St. John's, Michigan. A little bio on her. She, uh, well, actually, a little bio on Mongo. Let's, let's not leave the horse out. Uh, <laughs> Macy says that Mongo's favorite treat are sour gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> Macy's favorite movie is Step Brothers. Her favorite food is pasta. Her favorite band is Secondhand Serenade. Her advice to other young riders is never give up and learn from your mistakes. Gorgeous gray horse here. She rides with another great trainer, a Amy Hayes. Just a uh, really, really neat trainer from the area. She took a little bit of a different approach here. She kind of rode a little ceremonial lap before uh, starting the jumping. Yeah, well, you know, again, you know, part of the really cool thing about this particular event is that uh, you can kind of choose your own course. And so she's uh, decided to start with a much different jump than some of the other riders may have. Mm -hmm. It's got to be difficult to concentrate keep the horse doing what the horse is supposed to do uh, remember the course that you mapped out and make sure you don't jump more than 12. absolutely <laughs> very nice jump there great lead change very smooth ride great pace Very good through the bounce. The rubs don't count. Uh, it's okay if they, the horse touches them. Mm -hmm. You certainly don't want to knock one down, but. Now most nice. of these, most of these riders that we're seeing, how long have they been doing this? Oh, you know, I mean, some of these kids may have started when they were, were very young, uh, you know, certainly in the single digits, uh, five, six, seven years old, maybe on ponies. Very nice. You know, great form from both horse and rider over that jump. And it's, it's more, and it, again, it's more so the rider's position that the judge is looking yes, towards where absolutely. their hands are, their, yep. their feet have to stay in the, uh, in the stirrups. In the stirrups. Yep. You know, a nice big pretty horse like that doesn't hurt though, you know. <laughs> really grabs the judge's eye, adds a little extra something to the picture. Next to join us, we have entry 259-259, number representing Rachel Haley. And 
We hear her, Rachel Hake, 259, coming out aboard Accorda. Yes, and, and Rachel has really kind of become a, a really a local favorite, and, and, uh, and rightly so. She's, she, she comes from a, a very much of a riding family, and um, she's just done so well. Uh, we've all kind of watched her grow up and, and turn into this just incredible young rider. She's definitely a junior rider who is going to go very far in her young career here. Now, in, in today's show, how old are most of these uh, young ladies that we're seeing? Um, you know, I think on average from looking at some of the bios, they're anywhere from maybe 13, 15. I think there may have been someone that was 16 here. And this is a very interesting approach. She kind of sliced it and did a very good job at it. And down to the skinny. Now the judge is going to kind of decide whether or not Rachel should personally be responsible for that rail or her horse. As I mentioned to you earlier, um, you know, rails in the equitation division uh, are sometimes judged against the horse and then sometimes against the rider. Now the only thing is she can't re-jump that gate that's that the correct. horse knocked so down. The that's absolutely correct. And, and each one of these jumps can be jumped in either direction. So each jump on the course can be jumped twice. Now, so if this skinny jump that she just knocked down was part of the rest of her course, she's going to have to kind of modify the rest of her pattern that she has chosen to go on here. So that's just another thing for the young rider to have to, to yep. think about or worry about. Yep, yep. Not bad enough. You're atop a what two, three thousand pound horse. Now yeah. You, now you're thinking, did I knock that gate over? Sure. What can I do instead of sure. uh, that gate? But you know, Rachel's such a good rider, though. You know, she will. You know, she wouldn't let anything like that really phase her. And you could really tell through the rest of her course. You know, um, sometimes you know, riders will get a little rattled. They'll feel like, oh boy, you know, now I've kind of blown it. And here, when you look at that, you know, it looked like the horse just didn't really jump up. I think right. she got in well. Um, you know, there's a. A lot going on, and, and she got a score of 70. 70 is not a bad, uh, not a bad score, and, and obviously the judge did not feel that it was uh, her fault for the rail. All right, we got Allison. Is that Beaver or Bever? She's Beaver. On, yep. Uh, Beaver. She's rider 268. She's on Coco Latte. That's right, Coco Latte. Now you know here's a horse that's 16 years old, and uh, you know as I said. You know, horses in their late teens and early 20s, it's not unheard of them to still be doing just outstanding things in their, now in their show and Is career. it better to have an older horse like that? Or Sometimes it is. Are they more calmer, a little yeah. bit more yes, trainable? Yes, seasoned, well-trained. Uh, absolutely. In the horse world, we tend to call them been there, done that. Mm -hmm. you know? Horses that have been there and done that. And now there she kind of started off on what we call the wrong lead, but uh, she's marching on to her first jump and doing her course. Very pretty horse. Now this one's a thoroughbred, and you don't see many thoroughbreds uh, as many as you used to see years ago. Is that why it Very looks a little bit the thinner balance. than the other horses? Yep, yep. Okay. thoroughbreds are a thinner breed. I mean, they were basically bred to race. And uh, whereas warm bloods are basically uh, exactly what, it's, what it stipulates is a combination of hot-blooded horses and cold-blooded horses, so more of a thoroughbred or Arab mixed with like a, some type of a draft, as they would often do in Europe to mix them together and lighten the breed. She's having a very good course. She was great through the bounce. This is kind of a cross canter. She didn't really let it phase her. He didn't really complete his lead change around the corner. But, you know, she did what a great rider should do, and that's just to keep following on the path right. and not let it shake you. She looks like she's winding her track down here, trying to find the judge, it looks like, yeah. making her last circle. Now, what's the what's the training regimen for both the rider and the horses? I mean, do they do they do this you know five six days a week? Absolutely. You know, some riders you know will even do it seven or eight days a week to, to <laughs> be uh, silly. You know, they uh, you know they combine homework and horsework and schedule their time to get it all done. And a shot of 
Allison and Beaver. Gorgeous choice. All right, rider number seven, Brittany Stanton, number two, 61 aboard Troy. Troy is a 10-year-old warm blood. Again, a combination of uh, Euro European breed. Anybody watching at home that, that wants to uh, get involved, they can, I'm sure, check out your website, DetroitEquestrianClub.com, uh, and uh, yeah, get information yeah, absolutely. Uh, about the club and what you guys do and sure. uh, how to get involved if they wish. Right. Yeah, we're here at the Michigan State Fairgrounds. Yeah, you know, and there's a lot of great uh, facilities around that bring up really great young riders and train horses to go on and do great things. You can always find facilities online that might be near you and get your kid into some lessons and you can compete at course shows like this. Very nice over the oxer there. Looks like she's going to head back to the bounce. You know, and that was very well ridden. It looked like maybe her horse wanted to kind of look out, maybe some of the uh, people in the bleachers there, you know, her horse kind of caught an eye on it and wanted to do a little double take, but boy, she rode that very well through the bounce. She did not let her horse miss a step there. You know, and that really just speaks of the quality of not just these riders, but how well they train, you know, they're, they're trained by their trainers as mm -hmm. well, you know, to really learn to problem solve and work through and not get rattled right. uh, in the midst of a competition, in the midst of a class like this. Yeah, I'm glad we're up here talking about it, not down there judging it. Yeah, absolutely. That's another well, another you know, pretty it, good ride it, there. It, especially in a class like this when you've got some of the top young riders in the region here uh, competing. It's, it's not an easy uh, class to judge. So Brittany Stanton will bring Troy off of the ring, and we'll have our last rider queued up, number 284, Lauren Mancinati. She'll be riding Zahara. That's right, Lauren is 17 years old and she's from Sylvania, Ohio. Zahara is a nine-year-old Tricaner thoroughbred. She said his favorite treat is peppermints. <laughs> Lauren's advice to other young riders is don't give up and ride to have fun. Amazing how beautiful the horses are, uh, how, how they uh, they start out just a little trot and then all of a sudden oh, yeah. they, they know their pick up speed. You know, look at her leg. She's got a great leg over the jump. Doesn't move. Now, how long do the riders train with the same horse that they're riding today? Have they been riding with them for a few years? You know, it really kind of depends. Some of them may have uh, started out on a pony, and then as they grew, they needed a horse instead of a pony, and uh, so they may have moved up. Um, it's really kind of hard to say. Very good jump there. Just hear, hear the horse and hear the hooves and you hear the, the horse's breathing. I mean, it doesn't look like it's really right. running that hard, but you can hear it. Very nice. That's Lauren Manson. You know, and she's in, if, again, you know, look at her leg. Her heels are down. It's a perfect position. Uh, it's, it's exactly how you want to look. Take a look at some of Lauren's run here. That's right, and again, here's kind of what we call the bounce or a no stride. Uh, a horse jumps in and really doesn't even take a stride. As soon as its front feet land, its hind feet land, and then the horse is taken off again. And it's a, a very uh, difficult uh, obstacle, if you will, and two obstacles in a row.
So now they're going to announce the, the top four that come back. So Shayna Cohn is coming back uh, last, meaning that she is uh, leading the class right now, according to yeah, the points. She, she went out first. Yeah. She kind of set the pace there. Huh. So while they prep the pull a couple of the gates, I think we can take a quick little break, and we'll be back with the final competition here. You're watching the 2008 Showrunner.com Equitation Cup from the Detroit Equestrian Club. Get the latest tracks by singer-songwriter Taylor Dye, including I Don't. I'd have a pair of high heels rolling round on the floor of my 87 two-door pickup guitar riding shotgun in the sun. When I lost my soul. I Let it rain. Get the latest tracks by singer-songwriter Taylor Dye. Available now on iTunes, CD Baby, and at TaylorDyeMusic.com. So Macy Ladisky is going to come back first. This is the flat phase. Uh, they have they have two minutes to do the flat work of their choice. And, and this is judged as well. Yes, this is judged as well. They can do whatever they want. They can they can walk, trot, canter, counter canter. They can do uh, anything on the flat that they want. And uh, Macy looks like she's setting the pace uh, very strong. She's taken off her stirrups. So that, she is that's actually, allowed in this that is allowed in this, in this event. So she's going to do her entire flat phase without stirrups. So she is basically balancing herself up top the horse and he's going to perform the whole thing without stirrups, and that will kind of set the pace for the rest of them. It'll kind of get them to think, hmm, I wonder if I should take my stirrups off because... Uh, now, without the stirrups, that's just a, an added extra difficulty? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There's, you know, basically no real foundation, obviously, under her feet. So she... Uh, it's all about balance and strength in her legs, and uh, she's really up the ante here. She's doing simple lead changes across the diagonal. And if you look at her leg, her leg hasn't moved, her heels are down. Again, that would be something that would be very easy to do if you have your stirrups. But uh, without stirrups, not so easy. And again, they have to salute before they start Correct. and salute as they Correct. They lose finish. five points from their total if they forget to salute before and after. Five points each time. Now, now what we, we saw her do a little stop there. Is that just, just a simple yep, halt? She just showed a halt. Yep. And again, this is really uh, a way for the rider to demonstrate their overall horsemanship. You know, they've already shown their horsemanship skills over the jumps. And now uh, they have two minutes to dis display their horsemanship skills as we call on the flat. And she just saluted the judge. Great job. Now is there, is the trainer allowed to, to help them out in any way as far as knowing their two minute duration in this? Uh, no, they, uh, there is a signal that the riders hear down okay. there. And, uh, is there a signal they hear to start and a signal yes. that tells mm -hmm. them their two minutes is up? Correct. Okay. Take a look at some of the horsemanship here from just a moment ago. Absolutely, and you know, her horse is what we call on the bit, whereas neck is very round, she's 
looking straight ahead. And it looks like Macy's kind of set the, the pace here because uh, Brittany Stanton is back and uh, she also has removed her stirrups. And that's certainly not to say that, uh, you know, Macy's kind of up the ante. They, they all kind of use this as a strategy uh -huh. throughout the season. Brittany is 16 years old. She's from Rochester Hills. Her horse's name is Troy. Now, in, the, in that first half, the, the jumping portion, is, is there any benefit to, to going first or going last? Is there any really preferred position? Or Well, you know, if, if you go first and you're riding strong, you can really set the pace. If you go last, you will <clears throat> have the uh, advantage of having seen everyone else go, uh, maybe especially in an event like this where you can kind of choose your own pattern. Uh, you know, you might see where someone did a little trickier pattern than maybe one that you've created and things like that. Um, but, you know, with that, you know, there's always the fact that uh, there could be some added pressure. You know, if you go right. first, you know, you're, right. you're you, know, you don't have the, the luxury of watching anyone yep. go before you. And if you go last, you've seen everybody else. And, you know, now it's your turn. And, it, you know, it's, uh, so there's pluses and minuses to it all. Very outstanding rider here. Just great leg as she uh, makes her cantering circle there. Now she's showing a counter canter. When a horse canters, you want them to lead with their inside front leg. And just then she did a counter canter, uh, showing her horse. And that time I paid better attention. I heard the whistle, and then she yep. came over and saluted. There you go. Very nice. tell she's a very strong rider, very thinking rider. Again, her leg is right at the girth, right where you want it, almost as if a stirrup was there. Right. Great position. Okay, here's Rachel Kuhn aboard King and I. And a little bit of pressure on Rachel. She's been leading this, uh, this class throughout the entire season. She's had the most points of all of the riders throughout the season. And uh, she's coming back with a score of 76. And uh, the rider after her is coming back with a score of 78. So it is possible that she could move up in two points here and, and end up being the winner. We'll have to see how her flat work goes. She chose to keep her stirrups. Sometimes riders keep them and then drop them midway through. A little bit of trouble here. Just an outstanding rider. A very nice girl, nice family. I chatted with her mom a couple times. Very nice, nice family. They have a lot of fun. And there, as you said, I think we just saw one of those canters where the horse leading with the uh, inside foot. That's right. Her inside leg. Very pretty horse, 15-year-old Hanoverian, 17 hands tall. And her trainer, Kathy Johnson, yep. is just an outstanding trainer. Now there's what kind of it's like she's got the horse dancing. Yeah, doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of dressage movements out here. That's kind of cool. A little bit of shoulder in, some half pass. Uh, all of that really uh, adds to the entire picture. Not a bad ride. Now, do a lot of the riders that, that graduate out of this club do they uh, go on to co collegiate careers or, or professional careers afterwards? Well, you know, it, some of them go on to uh, compete in college. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, we, we always say, you know, once you get bitten by the bug, you, right. you never really uh, outgrow it. You know, you're always addicted. There's Rachel on the K-1 
canter towards the end. Now here's our final rider. She, she went first in our first round, so That's as we right. said, she kind of set the pace. Sure, and she's, she's held it all the way through. Uh, Shayna's 17 years old from West Bloomfield. 13-year-old Sal Francais. She starts her paces here. She also has opted to remove her stirrups. When they're training with the horse, do they concentrate more on, on one element than the other of these two that we've seen, or, or is it really equally both? Uh, you know, it's all part of the overall process. You know, the flat work is equally as important as the jumping work and vice versa. Uh, you know, if you have a horse that does not uh, perform well on the flat, then he's going to carry that right. imperfection into the jumping. And uh, so... Certainly, you, you really want to have a very, very strong foundation of flat work uh, before you go into jumping work. It's said that all jumping is is flat work over obstacles. So that's very true. Here's a counter canner, very nice counter canner. And it's a little tough, and, and you know, she started her counter canner on a corner, which is uh, very tricky. You know, the horse sometimes will feel a little off balance just in a straight line on the counter canner and she picked it up going into a corner and held it all the way around. Great job. A little reverse on the haunches there. Very nice. That was Shana Cohen, rider 277. Here she comes on the, I don't know if this is the cross canter that nope, she was that's doing. A, this it's a canter there, just, just a regular yep. canter. And there we see blankets being placed on the back of the horses, get them warmed up, keep them warm. the Michigan State Fairgrounds, the 2008 Showrider.com Equitation Cup. So we'll have the results here in just a moment or two. Well, that will be coming up momentarily, so while we wait for that, we'll take a pause here on CMN TV, the 2008 Showrider.com Equitation Cup. Shop Mall of the Bluffs for some of the latest fashions at some of your favorite stores. Mall of the Bluffs. Go to mallofthebluffs.com right now for money saving coupons and more. So Christopher Ewing down there be awarding the ribbons to the horses in eighth place, Jessica Howard. Allison Beaver in seventh place, rider 268 above Coco Latte. And the sixth award going out to 284. And 284 is Lauren Mancinati. And Lauren Mancinati and Zahara win sixth place. Rachel Hake and Accorda win fifth place. Fourth award going out to 261, and 261 is Brittany Stanton. Brittany Stanton in fourth place aboard Troy. Actually, Lauren Mancinati out there now receiving her sixth place ribbon. Third award going out to 200. And Rachel Hake.
Johnny Sieludisky in third place aboard Mongo. Second, we're going to 200 in a 77 is Shana Cohen. And Shana Cohen does fall to second aboard Fidelio de Helby. Rachel Kuhn in the King and I able to win the 2008 Showrider.com Equitation Cup. She gets her blue ribbon for first prize from Christopher Ewing. So Kathy Johnson, trainer of the year, two years, or trainer of the winning horse two years in a row. Christopher will put the blanket on the back of the horse. That says first place here in the 2008 Showrider.com Equitation Cup. So the horses will parade around the ring. While they do that, we'll take a break here from up high above the Detroit Equestrian Club, the Michigan State Fairgrounds, and we'll head down, see if we can talk to the winner. Stick around, friends. We'll be right back here on CMN. So I'm joined down here by the winning rider, Rachel Kuhn, the winning trainer, Kathy Johnson and Christopher Ewing. Congratulations to you, Rachel. Were you nervous? You were in second place coming into the uh, the flat routine. Oh, it was great. Um, obviously, there's always a little bit of tension going on, but um, we pulled through and did pretty good, so. Now, how were your nerves, Kathy, watching her out there? Uh, <laughs> and this is your second year in a row winning the, uh, winning the highrider.com uh, cup. I was concerned with the horse on a couple of the jumps, but he was very good. He didn't let us down in the flat phase. He was pretty nervous. He yeah. went in there and gave her a little more to do than we expected. So okay. she, she pulled it off in spite of the little horse opinion. All right. And now, uh, is it true you're taking Christopher instead of me on the Caribbean cruise? Yes, <laughs> quite possibly, yes. <laughs> All right. So that's going to wrap it up for us here at the Detroit Equestrian Club from the Michigan State Fairgrounds. I'm Jim Evers. For Christopher Ewing, we hope you enjoyed this competition. Good night, everyone.